Hi, and welcome to another Ann Arbor Sewing Center Sew It Yourself project. Today we will be helping you create this very simple and easy cover for any sized ironing board. What you will need for this simple project is 1mm piping corning, a pen and a sharpie, enough fabric to cover your ironing board top with about 2 inches extra all the way around, a cord stop, a cording foot, and a serger. Here we are using the Bernina 1150 serger. Set your serger to a 3 thread wide overlock with all of the settings in normal. To begin, place your fabric right side down and lay your ironing board upside down on top of the fabric. Then, draw a line tracing the top of the ironing board onto the wrong side of the fabric. If you are concerned about the pen bleeding through your fabric, use a heat or air erasable pen. Next, take the ironing board off of the fabric and draw a second line approximately 2 inches out from the first line you drew. I would recommend using a sharpie to draw the second line because this line will be used as the cutting line on the serger. Using the sharpie, draw two lines where the front of the ironing board will be. These two lines will represent the starting and stopping points. Afterwards, cut into one of the points and then cut past the other point about an inch on the black line. This cut will allow you to insert the fabric into the serger. Now it is time to insert the cording into the cording foot. Take the cording foot and hook the cord through the front guide of the foot. Then bring the cord back and put it through the second guide so it goes underneath the foot. After the cording is in the foot, it is time to put the cording foot on your serger. To put the foot on the machine, raise the presser foot lever, position the bar under the ankle of the foot, lower the presser foot lever in the back, and then push in the black button located on the back of the foot. The foot should now lock into place. Now, position your ironing board cover underneath the searcher foot starting at the area where you clipped out the section. Line the machine up so that the knife blade will cut on the outer black line. Next, making sure to have a 4 to 5 inch tail of cording hanging off the back of the foot, search over the cord all the way around the ironing board cover. When you have surged about halfway around the cover, stop and put the cord stop on the end of the cord that has already been surged down. This will make sure that you do not pull out the cord and lose it. Continue to surge all the way around your ironing board cover. When you near the end, make sure your cording is not dangling in front of the knife blade. Stop when the presser foot gets to where you began and surge off before you overlap the beginning cord. Afterwards, take the cover off of the serger, being sure to pull out the remaining cord in the foot and cutting the thread. Next, carefully remove your ending cord from the stitching and casing it. Take the remaining thread and lightly tie it in a knot, being sure not to tie it so tightly that the cord won't be able to move through it. Cut the excess thread. Now, insert the ending cording into the other hole of the cord stop. Next, place your cover on top of your ironing board right side up. And pull the two ends of the cording through the cord stop. The ironing board cover should start to form around the top of your ironing board. To further secure the cord stop, tie the two ends of the cord together. And that's it! You now have a super cute ironing board cover to spice up your sewing area. On behalf of Ann Arbor Sewing Center, we hope you enjoyed this easy tutorial and we would love it if you shared your new ironing board cover with us on our Facebook page. We hope you have a wonderful day and happy sewing!